Hello everyone, my name is Yogesh and today I am giving the lecture on views. Now whenever we think about views, like this question comes that why do we need views? Now there are three things you can do with views. First of all, you can break down the complex query into the simpler query. Second one is uh, query reusability. You don't have to write same query again and again. You can like write a view for it and you can use view instead of uh, like using that query again and again. Now how it helps in query reusability is uh, the thing is whenever you write a view you can query it down using some of the select statement operator like like where or the way etc other than this like views provide a good role in uh, like maintaining security but they are not fully recommended that you should rely on views for the security but they can provide a good way of securing down your table schema or table structure that it uh, if you will write a view it won't expose the table original structure instead it will expose the structure which has been written by the query uh, like in the view query now what is the view view is just a stored query whenever you query down the view it executes that query which is written into the view can also be set as a virtual table as they are virtual table they don't hold any data they uh, they hold, don't hand data into them data comes from the real table SQL uh, select query operator like where order by group by etc can be used with view now coming to the practical aspect now suppose uh, okay before starting this practical uh, let me tell you about I will be working on Northwind database you can download it from uh, Microsoft uh, website you can download it from there and even you can search on Google and even you can download uh, from the link below in the video uh, like wherever you will be watching I will be uh, pasting down the uh, link where you can download the script files and the other things now coming to other general code suppose I have a query which is uh, querying order table which is uh, getting customer ID out of it shipping address shipping charity and shipping country and ship name also the freight amount and this is the field which has been used as an amount here then the product ID quantity and unit price now this is a query suppose whenever uh, like this is a query and I would like to create a view of it now for creating a view you just need create view then the view name which should be unique then as operator and then you have to specify the query now if I will create the view it will like this query uh, now this query has been uh, like saved into this view now if I will query this view it will be giving me the same result which query has to be given like should be given so now views is doing the same task now when you are querying a view it is executing this query in the background now uh, how this help us now as this is a complex query basically if we take it as a complex query like there are two joins into it two or three joins into it you can consider that this views uh, this view uh, has broken down this query like uh, simplify this query into a simple view now what you can do with this view is you can query with this view like you can join this view with other tables like I have joined this with the product on the basis of product ID as I am selecting product ID here also and also I am getting this product name and the category name category ID so now as this is the query I can even write this query into the view now what I did is I am just writing this query into a view also now I am giving this name as order data with product name now if I will run this query it will give me the same output like the result set of the first query and then product name and the category ID. now suppose even if now this has been like uh, there, this has been two level now first level was the order data and now the second is this one now I can query this uh, view also like I can join this with the category name like category table to get the category name now what my result set is product name category ID and category name and even I can write this in a view so if I will query my view it will give me this out now I can uh, apply different operators to it here what I did is I just query down the category and also there is one more thing if you want to restrict view which, uh, like this we could only show the uh, product of category view then you can add this condition here into the view and alter this view now after this this view will only show the result set of 
category ID two. No other category will come to the vehicle. Set. So the person cannot uh, like get any product out of the category two. So uh, this uh, uh, now uh, this way you can have views to even control your some of the query. Like the person should not be querying this category and other thing. So you can restrict the result set uh, which has uh, which needs to be provided to the uh, like any of the user. Now coming to this one. Now what I did is I have just summarized the right amount. So uh, this is the view. This uh, and I'm joining this with the cu customer to get the company name and then summing the right amount. And so uh, if I'm summing the right amount, so I need a group by clause. And this is what I got now. Here it is. Now even this uh, I have used group by and can also use order by with this. So with views you can pretty much do anything which whatever you uh, do with the query so and uh, it simply uh, like it simplify your task now in this view we do have one view that is order data then it is combining with product uh, view then it is combined and then that view is combined with the category view to get the category name out of it so here uh, you can see that you can easily do this operation and you have simplified this complete big query into simpler queries so now coming to the security aspect. Now, how do you uh, provide the security aspect? First of all, we have covered this one. Like in this, uh, we have given that it should be querying like uh, uh, only the data for the uh, which is having category ID two. Now, this is the one aspect you can use views to query. Now, there are some flaws with the views. Now, let me tell you what uh, what are those. First of all, let me show you this query now. Okay. Now, if you will query this, uh, execute this query, this will give you an output like this one. Now, what I do is uh, I'm just creating view for this table. Now, as this view will be having all, uh, like showing all the columns of this table, all the data from this table. So, now uh, what I'm doing is I am updating original table using this view. Now, if I will do this, it will update the record and it will be re reflecting in the original table instead the re because views are not saving any data so these changes will be reflected into the original table now how views uh, can help us with this one. now even there is one more thing you can insert data using view now we will go down this now you have added this record we can even delete this record now with views as they are virtual table they reflect all the changes into the original table so how to maintain security with that now what we can do is we can secure the identity of the column now suppose if I query this column as ID and query, uh, like analyze this column as name from the table now this is the query the if any uh, like if any person get exposed to the view then he will be knowing this name ID and name it, the or original name of the view can uh, like the columns cannot be exposed to so I can write down this into the view and if I will query it here are the item even then you can update using these virtual uh, call, like allies uh, using the allies you can uh, basically uh, modify your tables so still how do we run the script now security comes whenever you are using multiple tables into the views now let me tell you now suppose this is the table product name and the category name if I will execute this this will provide me category name and the product name and if I will create a view of it and going down the view I get category and product now even then I can update this category if I will do this it will update all the categories all the uh, sorry product of that category now this has been a problem now views are still updating then how we can use it now suppose uh, you have to write down this view now suppose if uh, now this is the view like in the old query we have created this view this is sorry uh, this one mm, this one this was getting us product name and the category ID of it. now what if I will try to update two things at a time like what I'm doing is uh, I want to update chip city adding you to it second the right amount and third the product name now whenever I will try this uh, to execute 
it will give an exception like view or function order by is not updating uh, updatable because the modification affects multiple table views. Now, as the view is showing result set as a one table, the person will be adding update log well like update query will be making update query for updating multiple rows or uh, multiple columns and those columns are from different table the person cannot modify it using the view now views help us in uh, like securing down the identity of column and even the table also now no one knows that this uh, like this query uh, like this view is querying down three tables now first of all it is going down product then coming to our it we are querying down uh, orders table then order details so there is no way that person can identify that whether uh, this result set is coming from one table or multiple table and if he is uh, he is specifying like column for more than like uh, more than one table and he is executing the query then he cannot uh, update uh, those uh, all the tables because uh, views cannot fire query against multiple table at one once so there is an aspect of security, but you cannot trust you for a uh, like prop uh, like fully on this one. But what you, you can do is you can write down the views which are uh, securing the identity of columns and tables, and then you can use it anyway. It, it will uh, like expose then then also your table structure, your data structure is not exposed to the hacker. Now coming to uh, some of the questions, if you need any uh, like if you have any question, you can add me on the Skype. Also, my Gmail address is gmail.com. Also, my website is textifier.com. You can download this script from here. Even I will be providing a complete link below this video. And if you have had any question and if you want any private lessons, then you can contact me using this script. Have a good day. Keep learning.